Um, you, you mentioned that there were some of the spectrographic applications for water. Um, have there been any developments for archaeological research using satellite mm. spectrographic analysis? There have. And again, I'm sure a whole lecture could be done on that. Um, I know personally about areas in Bangladesh, for example, where the images of, of the very early, I think it's Harappan age settlements, the sort of things that were in the Indus Valley uh, thousands of years before today, though the, the ghosts of those are now appearing in the sediment uh, in, in, the, in the delta of the Ganges in, in Bangladesh, uh, and in the Indus, in fact, in Pakistan too. Um, you see these things emerging in Brazil, uh, because you can now see partly through the, 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 the vegetation canopies into densely forested areas, and of course you see it in desert areas. Um, we've always known about some of these things from in, in, the UK, in a UK or a temperate environment context from aerial photography. Um, but if some of these, you know, these huge things, uh, huge areas of human settlement are now emerging, I think, largely as a result of satellite imagery. And it's, you know, the possibilities are really actually fantastic, I think. <laughs>